to my channel. I hope you're all having an awesome day. I'm going to be doing an ASOS haul and if you are not aware, ASOS is an online store for most of us here in the United States, but they are based in the UK. They have tons of stores in London. That's actually where I originally heard about ASOS, but I just love the store so much. I ordered all of these things three days ago. I got them within two days and I realized that there is a shipment method where you can get all of your clothes within two days you pay $19 for the full year and all of your shipments whether it's one thing or 15 things will come to you within two days and I think that is genius $19 for all the shipments of all the orders that I ever make will definitely save me a lot of money so anyway and I think the other thing is things sell out very quickly so if I don't get my order within like a few days things are going to be sold by the time I can actually even share them with you guys and I hate sharing things that are already sold so every single piece that I mentioned in this video is going to be linked down in my description box. You guys can click on those links and basically purchase whichever piece you want. I will let you know that when you click any of my links, they are affiliate links, so I make a very small percentage if you guys do end up completing your order. So if you buy a shirt that's $30, I may make like 45 cents off you buying that shirt. With the collective amount of everyone buying the shirts, I do actually end up making a little bit of money. If you have any questions, I will be responding to comments. I always do. And without any more rambling, let's get right into this. So the first shirt I'm going to talk about is this tank top that I actually have on right now. It's a very beautiful floral tank and it actually has adjustable straps, which I have honestly not seen on a tank top ever. I mean, normally it's the size that they send you and if it sucks it sucks if it works great but this is awesome i love that the back was adjustable because my friend actually adjusted it for me because otherwise this up here was looking a little funky with my bra so really really nice that it's adjustable and i love the design i think it's perfect perfect for the summertime it will look great on so many different people so i'm a huge fan and i'm really comfortable in it it's nice and flowy obviously huge fan this next one is a I was like, off the shoulder, what is it called? It's an off the shoulder bardo top. So it looks pretty tiny, but it actually fits me perfectly because when it's off the shoulder, it kind of hits me right below my stomach and I usually have more high-waisted jeans. So this is still covering all of my skin, but one of my friends told me that I have kind of the perfect collarbone structure for these off the shoulder tops. And I was like, give me more compliments. I need to hear more. And so I ended up buying another off the shoulder top because I have that pink one with like the white lace detailing. So I ended up getting this one because I just love, love, love the fact that it's off the shoulder. And I do like rocking my arms now that I've been working out. I feel like they're a little bit more toned so I'm a little less embarrassed to rock around just like some flab. But this is super cute. My favorite piece of this was this floral embroidery detail right here. I don't really have too much with floral embroidery, so this was definitely why I opted for this shirt. I absolutely love this. I think it's adorable, and I want this in every color now because it's so comfortable. And actually, this top, I know I have the tag on here, but I actually filmed a couple videos in this top already, and I love how it actually stays. I mean, unless I'm like raising my arms up, I don't know why I just did this motion. Unless I'm raising my arms all the way up, it is honestly like staying off the shoulder, which I really like. So kudos to ASOS for doing that. Now this next shirt is a little mix of trendy and chic because everything palm and like tropical printy right now seems to be majorly in style. And of course, if it's in style, I need something of it. But it's got these really cute frilly sleeves and it's obviously like cut off sleeves so it could be very professional and it's a button up shirt too. So I really like the versatility of this. I felt like this could definitely be dressed down but it can also be dressed up. And I do have professional meetings where I need to wear something that is a little bit more dressed up but I also want it to be trendy and cute. I don't want to just wear a black top, a black button up top, like that's boring, you know? So I thought this was really fun for summer and I think it'll be perfect with a cute pair of shorts, cute pair of jeans, and then just a really nice pair of some type of strappy sandal. I definitely feel like this is just a little too busy for me. I don't know, what do you guys think? It just seems not really like my style 
and it's got a lot going on up here so I think this one may officially be a no but I was so excited to try this print I just don't think that this top is the right one for me but let me know I mean it's pretty cute I still kind of like it I just don't know if it works for me so I will look for your comments down below let me know what you guys think okay so these next oh my gosh these are so cute I kind of want to wear them to the gym today I'm going to the gym right after this I'm going for two hours too so I may not make it back so hopefully I end up surviving the workout these are the cutest shorts I've ever seen and they're basically workout shorts but they're very thick material and I just saw watermelon and I was like yup 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 I need that I'm gonna need it I absolutely needed it and I can wear these around the house. I can obviously just wear them to the gym. I thought they were really, really cute. These are so comfortable and they are so cute and they are not like super tight. If you want to tighten them, you can, but they're so comfortable. I love these shorts so much. Oh my gosh. So obviously just told you guys that I'm obsessed with off the shoulder tops and this one is so freaking cute so cute I love this I'm such a big fan of all these floral prints I love the floral embroidery and I've never really had too much floral embroidery I think I had a sweater in December but other than that oh my gosh this is so freaking cute and it's gonna be slightly off the shoulder but still has sleeves really really cute I can't wait to try this one on too this is the cutest top on this earth seriously though so obviously these are the watermelon shorts so ignore those but it fits like a dream nothing on the back beautiful embroidery here on the sides it is a gorgeous shirt okay so this next one I've actually had my eye on this type of a dress for a long time and the ones that I want are like 300 or 400 dollars so not gonna buy that but i love this lacy patterning i thought this dress was just so beautiful so beautiful and the detailing is gorgeous and then they even have like fringe at the very bottom and it's light blue so i it's very different for me i don't really wear a lot of light blue so i really like this and then there's this little button in the back but i have a lot of trips coming up and i think this would be a really gorgeous summer evening dinner type of dress and we're gonna be having dinner in Maine so having dinner somewhere on the water in this beautiful dress with the Sun coming down it just kind of screamed to me and I thought it was so beautiful I love this color and I just I don't know I mean this dress was still one of the more expensive things in this haul but not anywhere near the price that I've seen these types of dresses going for so I was really happy to find this one this is honestly the most beautiful dress I think I've ever worn in my life. It's the perfect length. This blue is so flattering. Even when I get up close, I was just kind of staring at the mirror. Super flattering, very, very versatile. I feel like this can definitely be for a wedding. It could be for a lot of things and I didn't button that button in the back, but it just fits perfectly. And it's super comfortable and I still feel like I can breathe in this, which I really like because I don't want it to be super tight on my body. I'm not there yet in terms of the working out, but wow, wow, this is such, I can't, I have no words. This is such a beautiful dress. I can't remember all of these either. I'm like, did I buy this? Did I buy this? Ooh, I actually do remember this one. So this is again, pull and bear. So I really liked their stuff this, this time around. Um, this is really interesting actually because I've always wanted one of these. I kind of like that idea of a cape with a dress. So this is very cute on the top obviously. It's white, it's got this cute floral pattern on it. Um, but the dress is actually a romper and the romper ends right here and then you have this long cape that kind of drapes all over. So I really liked the idea of kind of this long cape draping behind me with a romper. It just gives you a little bit more coverage so you don't feel quite so naked, I would say, because rompers kind of make me feel a little bit uncomfortable. Sometimes your cooch could just fly out, sometimes your ass can just fall out too. So having this kind of 
detailing to protect you and give you a little bit more coverage definitely felt good, I would say. So I'm excited to try that on and see how it fits on me. It's not as cute when you kind of see this little peekaboo area. Not as cute, I would say. But I just really don't like this view. I feel like it's kind of frumpy. It's crumpling up in that awkward area. And it's pretty short, I would say, too. I just don't like the frumpiness here. It was cute in theory, but this is definitely not for someone with wide hips, I would say, because it's just this awkward opening here in the middle. If you're a little bit smaller, like my hips do not lie. My hips are all the way out here. So this just kind of looks wrong for me. Maybe you guys think it's cute, but this also goes pretty low so you can see my bra too. So it would have to be like a low rider. So this definitely is a little too far out of my comfort zone, I would say. Super excited about this one too. This is, I think if I remember correctly, it is a romper, but this design or this detailing, I was just so freaking in love with. And this is very small, but I thought, or very short, I should say, but I thought that again, when we're on the East Coast, it's gonna be hot in a couple weeks, probably humid too. I'm gonna probably want to wear a minimal amount of clothing, not to mention that it's already like 110 degrees in Arizona. But it's really cute because it's got this type of sleeve over here, but you also have the straps. So you wear the straps and then you have these cute little sleeves. And then it is pretty short. And is it a dress? It's a dress, so it's not actually a romper. So I just love this design. I think it's super cute. It's very feminine, very girly. Okay, so this one is super boring. It's just a white v-neck. I just wanted another white t-shirt. I feel like white t-shirts get ruined because as soon as you sweat, you know that the area where you sweat turns yellow over time. Like if you own the same shirt for too long, that shit is nasty. But I just decided to get another v-neck tee. I think this is gonna be really cute, especially if I have one of my cute bras underneath. And it's lightweight. I just like the lightweight feel behind these because it's just so hot. These are $9. Like, you need one in every single color, honestly. I almost went for every single color and I was like, stop yourself, you don't need this many tees. Fits very nicely, I would say. And it is a little see-through. I can wear this around the house in my gorgeous watermelon shorts, it could be a workout shirt, a shirt underneath something, but I really just like that light fabric. It feels really nice against the skin. It's very breathable. Okay, and then this last piece that I got is quite possibly the most fun. It's very different for me, but again, for my upcoming trips, I thought it would be really cute, and I'm also gonna be in LA next week, and I thought my brother would get a kick out of actually filming me in this because it's just adorable, but this is yellow <laughs> it is just a yellow off the shoulder dress it's gonna look like this it looks a little bit short not gonna lie so we're gonna see how this actually fits on me but i really liked the yellow i don't have anything yellow and i think yellow looks really nice when you've got kind of a slight tan and because i spent so much time running outside over the past few weeks i've definitely gotten tanner um, and my camera seems to think i look completely tan like i've gone 25 shades darker not sure what happened there but I just love the idea of this yellow on me and I think it will just look so tropical, so fun. And the sleeve patterning and detailing here, this is adorable and I think it's very unique. It's got this kind of tassel feel, but there's still yellow and I just really like it. I think it's gonna be very, very cute to rock over the next few weeks and throughout this summer. So I grabbed this one as well. Super cute little tassel detail there on the side and there are yellow tassels. And it's just a very simple dress. Like there is not much to it. It's just yellow dress. Obviously it needs to be ironed, but it's pretty cute and it's not as short as I thought, but it feels very summery, very islandy. And I have a brown belt that I can pair with this. And of course I have plenty of bags, but let me know what you guys think. I kind of like it. It's different. It's very bright. It's gonna be very wow to a lot of people who see me, but I kind of like that. Let me know. And just another reminder, if you are interested in any single thing that I mentioned in this haul, make sure to check that description box down below because I will have a link to every single item down there. I mostly got mediums, size sixes, and then a couple of size fours because I normally wear, I used to wear like an eight or a 10. 
and I've lost weight so now I'm wearing a six but some things I know just run a little too big and if the shirt is already a little flowy and it looks kind of tunicky I always go for a smaller size so let me know what your thoughts are I hope you guys like this and of course if you have any questions about fit, I am more than happy to jump on Insta stories and kind of snap a few photos, images for you guys and just tell you how I think something fits. If you want more detail, always happy to help you guys out. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. I would love to have you come back for future videos. If that is the case, which I hope it is, I will see you all in my next video. Bye.